you never know if you're going to win or lose. You never know if you make something, if it's going to work. And only by taking that risk, you try and make something that you think will be of interest to the world, that level of connection. Sometimes you have to go, why am I doing this? You know, you lose your way. You're not sure if things are going to work. But when you feel that connection, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful space and it's a beautiful feeling. And then you feel worthy of doing what you do and it, it feeds you and it feeds us and it's, and it's an amazing thing, live performance. Masi is a, is a piece of theatre that is a visual work that explores the meeting of my parents in the 1950s in New Zealand and the bringing together of Fijian culture and English culture. I've always loved magic, and so um, Masi is a sort of doorway. I was just drawn to the magicalness of how to look at storytelling, and it was in um, 1994 that I actually went back to Fiji with my dad. And he was very ill. You know you're going to lose a parent, and you know they are the link to yourself and your culture. And that was the turning point for me of thinking about the type of work I had been doing and studying, which was quite a European style. And when I was in Fiji, you know, I had to be with all the women a lot, of course, and very traditional, and they went fishing, and, you know, they're in the water a lot. And it was at that point that um, I looked and I thought, there it is. I was very, very interested in the forms that I learnt in Europe and how to, how to go back and take something back into that world that comes from the Pacific, which was the whole journey with Bula. My background is not so much text and, and, and dialogue. Um, you know, I really love pictures, I love composition, things that are within us or that we see inside a world. And how do you, how, how do you find the right images and take those things that are traditional? How do you make the community trust you um, with taking things that are sacred? into a context of theatre where they feel they feel safe enough to gift those things to you. My mother and father packed their dreams up in banana boxes and loaded it onto the back of the truck. That's what brought us here. The dream. Drenched in sweat. Working with Nina that I was able to to relate all that pain and that and feel comfortable in it. It was like working with a family. I feel that uh, the conch has that mana and it makes you want to trust them and work with them, you know. And I was able to drop everything and just think, yeah, this, this story needs to be told and I'm with the right people to help me tell it because they were so caring, you know, in the treatment of me and my boys. The courage of, of that family trusting me to tell this story was a, it was a changing moment in my life. The theatre is, is something that speaks to all because beautiful storytelling um, is a universal thing. And the winner of the Senior Pacific Arts Award for 2017 is none other than the fabulous Nina Nawalawaro. <laughs> Everyone has to do groundbreaking work and everyone has to break ground by even going into the art. So each person is extremely brave. And so that voice, it's unique because it's a huge base of what is really very, very present now inside New Zealand theatre. To have that ground that is already developed and that voice and be able to come and join that and explore my own
gathering for the Pacific Arts Awards is so important because it, it is that thing where we are all in our different parts of New Zealand and of course we all work differently uh, and so we all have our own processes and there's no one formula but being able to come together and, and celebrate um, is, it can give you energy because you go, oh it's just not me who's crazy, no. <laughs>